Man, we I can smell ya. I can smell ya. <laughs> you wouldn't want to smell me right now. Hey guys, what is going on? Chris here with Shughead Gaming, bringing you my review for Rush VR, developed by the Binary Mill. And while this is currently available on various VR platforms, this review will of course be on the PSVR version and reviewed on PS4 Pro. Rush VR releases this December 4th for an estimated price of $20, but of course that depends on your region. Are you ready for the ultimate thrill ride? Take a dive into the adrenaline pumping world of wingsuit flying with Rush. Soar down mountainsides at breakneck speeds, weave through canyons, dodge outcrops, and plummet down sheer drops as you race towards the finish line. Rush VR is yet another game, getting positive reviews on other VR platforms, but now it's finally out on PSVR. Was it worth the wait? Let's find out. As always guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you'd like to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, hit that bell icon. And remember, if you want more PSVR news and info, check Shughead Gaming out on Twitter and Facebook. As always, graphics are up first. As a flying game, Rush needed to nail two things right out of the gate, those being a sense of speed and a solid draw distance. As these two aspects are both things that VR seems to have issues with, I was absolutely blown away when I first jumped off the starting gate and went soaring down my first mountainside. Rush being first a Gear VR game does show its mobile roots with some PS2 era textures on display, but with a very solid draw distance and actually very sharp visuals, the overall look is actually still quite impressive. What Rush absolutely nails is the feeling of flight, height, and a sense of speed. Besides some weird shader issues that are especially noticeable when looking around at the launch spot, lighting and particle effects are used to great effect, whether it be the slipstream effect when soaring close to the ground, rain and snow effects blasting by your head, or simply the spray of a waterfall splashing onto your face shield, Rush can at times be very stunning. In addition to weather changes, different races bring with them changing times of day, from sun-soaked days to daring nighttime jumps, and everything in between. With all the weather and time of day variety across the four completely different environments, it's rare that you will ever see the same view twice. Another high point is the absolutely fantastic character models, complete with visible helmet when in game. Full body avatars complete with articulated hands and great body animations really sell the whole experience and makes for some great fun when in multiplayer with your friends. Besides some oddly low quality textures when in the starting plane, Rush shockingly hits way above its Gear VR weight class and delivers a very effective and polished flight experience. That brings us to sound. Starting this category the same as graphics. Rush had one job when it came to sound, and that was nailing the sound of what soaring through the air at speeds reaching 200 miles per hour would even sound like. And Rush nailed it. The single music track for each environment is not good, and it gets tedious after a few jumps. So first things first, go to the sounds and turn off the music. Then go to the effects and crank those up. The resulting effect is a soundscape that really helps to drive home the game's title. The sound of wind whistling past your head and the resulting ripples of your wingsuit are dynamic, authentic, and really thrilling. Finished off with some nice 3D audio effects and above average voice work from your narrator, and Rush delivers a very solid and polished sound mix that competently recreates the sport of wingsuit flying without overly arcading it up and cluttering the mix with annoying alerts and chimes. And that brings us to gameplay. Simply put, Rush is the type of game I imagined when I first thought of what VR gaming could deliver. As a kid, I used to dream of flying, and when watching Astro Boy or Superman, I wondered what that would feel like. Graphical limitations aside, Rush delivers on a promise VR made to people a long time ago, to let them do things they could only previously dream of. 
With over 80 races across four different environments, Rush offers the solo player the choice of Time Attack, Score Challenge, or the main event of the game, the competitive race mode. It is here that you will strive for a top three finish to unlock new races and eventually new environments. Alternatively, you can jump online for some 8-player multiplayer races, and if you can stop yourself from fooling around with an assortment of interactive and really fun objects, you will find one of the most fun-filled moments I've ever had in VR multiplayer. Here's a gun. Regardless of whether you are online or solo, the premise is simple. Get to the bottom of the mountain first, while making sure to hit the target hoops along the way. This may sound simple and maybe almost boring, but the real trick lies in how you get your speed up and keep it up. Boosting is the key to winning, and sustained boosting outside of hitting the targets is where the skill, challenge, and replayability come into play, for it is gained by skimming along the surface of the ground, cliff faces, and cave walls. Ultimately, winning in Rush comes down to how daring you're willing to be, as the slopes rise lower and twist right below your body, keeping in mind your angle and velocity and your ability to pull off maneuvers with these two factors is challenging, addicting, and really fun. As a race comes quickly down to the last few gates and you find yourself in fifth place, it's incredible what daring moves you will attempt when it means the difference between winning or eating a rock face. Now all this finesse and need for precision flying would be a nightmare if the controls weren't good. Thankfully Rush offers pretty much every possible control option, ranging from analog sticks on the DS4 and using the gyros in it for rotation, to head tracking, and then my personal go-to, and what I feel is the only way to experience Rush is that of using two moves with your arms stretched out like a flying squirrel. I simply cannot explain the sense of flight and precise control this offers, and it truly makes pulling off those daring maneuvers not only possible, but fun. As the 80 races are split across only four environments, some races do start to be a bit samey, but fortunately the layout of the mountains can often feel incredibly different depending on the routes the gold points take you, and the chosen time of day and weather. Monotony and arm fatigue can begin to set in, but a trip over to the multiplayer side of things is sure to spice up your experience in a hurry. Rush can be played sitting or standing with a minimum to a moderate amount of room required depending on what control methods you choose to implore. I would say given the speed and movement in Rush, this may not be a title for those with motion sickness, but for the brave there are comfort options available. Controller tracking is spot on and actually some of the best utilization of the moves to date. This combined with some nice haptic feedback in the controllers, letting you know when you are pushing right to the edge to pick up some extra boost. And finally, that brings us to Fun Factor and my final review. If you can't tell already, I loved my time with Rush. Like in death last week, I was completely caught off guard with how great this game was, and honestly, I can't wait to jump back in with some friends and subscribers once this game goes live. Rush for me is a VR game that strongly and simply states, this is what VR is. It may be a bit single-minded, as I do wish it had some more variety in its events and course layout, but honestly, this is more just hypothesizing what Rush 2 could bring to the table. As you know, I rate games on a basis of buy, wait for a sale, or burn it to the ground. With a strong SSX vibe to boot, Rush perfectly fills a missing spot in every PSVR player's library, and honestly, should be considered by everyone as a title to buy now, or to be put on the Christmas list. Rush is awesome and very much worth your attention and money. It's a blast. How do you have a friggin' gun? Where'd you get the dart gun from? <laughs> you are covered in darts. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more PSVR content from me, please consider subscribing. And for video updates, hit that bell icon. And remember, if you want more PSVR news and info, check Shughead Gaming out on Twitter and Facebook. I will catch you guys in my next video.